All right, what's going on dudes? Welcome back to another vlog. A weekly vlog, I should say, because we're keeping on schedule with that. Pat's on the back for consistency. This one may end up running a bit short. I don't know, not all that much to discuss on the top of my mind, but we'll see. Nick's been visiting for the past couple of days. We ended up at the zoo yesterday, which I think we thought was going to be awesome, but it turned out to be kind of depressing, to be perfectly honest with you. I think when you go to the zoo as sort of like a smaller child, you're in awe at all these amazing animals that you're seeing. And then when you go and you're older, it just kind of looks like all the animals are really depressed and trapped in cages, which is kind of what it seems to be, with the exception of if an animal was uh, taken in as, as injured and they're nursing it back to health. That's pretty sweet, but uh, other than that, I mean, like, geez, at the, at the gorilla exhibit, all these gorillas are just lounging up against the wall, literally with their, their hand covering their face, some of them and others are just giving the onlookers death stares, and it's just like, oh, they don't seem very happy. And I'd, I don't think that makes me very happy. So, yeah. And then we got on to, like, the elephant exhibit, the bear exhibit, the lion exhibit. Not the lion exhibit, I'm gonna leave that for last. The tiger exhibit. And when we got there, like, soon as we arrived, it's not like it was empty and then we arrived. Uh, there were other people, but as soon as we got there, they just like retreated into their inside area and we got to see them for like a few seconds and then it was like, oh, see you later. Uh, not interested in any more in us, I guess, which I can't exactly say that I blame them. But anyway, we, we finally, we get to the lion exhibit and it says this exhibit is temporary, temporarily closed. And in smaller text underneath that, it says, we'll miss you, Cookie. Like, oh, did the, did the lion die? Oh, I hope it didn't die. I hope they just like, I hope they released it. But the way they said it, like, we'll miss you instead of a happy note, like, good luck in the wild. It was, we'll miss you. So it seems like it died. And that just, that just killed the mood for me right there. And uh, then we ended up uh, heading out. So that was the zoo. I'm sorry to ruin your innocence impressions about the zoo, but uh, it was kind of kind of sad. Yep, that's about all there is to it. Anyway, on uh, on some other notes, I have been live streaming more frequently. I've been trying to keep up with the New Year's resolution of mine to to live stream more often, and so far it seems to be going good. I'm sure you've heard me mention it at the uh, the beginning and or the ends of of the modded survival episodes. Anyway, so hopefully uh keeping up with that again twitch twitter facebook are the easiest ways to to stay up to date with the live streams and whatnot probably end up doing one tomorrow to, to keep farming the ender shards it may be kind of a a strange dynamic because sometimes I'll, I'll play for a longer session and record a few episodes so the live stream may actually take place like after that session has has happened but before all those episodes are posted so we'll try not to like you know sort of merge new gear in if that makes any sense like since those episodes have not been posted try not to spoil what happens in them by including anything in the live stream so anyway it's just it's easier because that way i don't have to space apart the live streams until we posted all those episodes so you know we'll figure something out we have to farm those ender shards man it's pretty pretty serious business if i do say so myself um, I've also been trying to, to find some some other games to, to play more often just to, you know, intersperse in with, with the Minecraft. Um, if you had any recommendations, feel free to, to leave one if you have any suggestions for, for games to play, new games, old games, any game that you like. I can uh, take a look at that and maybe we'll find something that seems uh, pretty interesting. Of course, the... Uh, the issue always seems to be that, and I know I, I shouldn't pay attention to this, and I've talked about it before, but it, I still do pay attention to it because it's hard not to. That being that when people oftentimes suggest games, it's because another YouTuber they, they often watch um, is playing it, and they find it interesting, and they, they would find it interesting if, if other people played it. But then there's also the, the group of people who look at that in a negative light and say, oh, you're copying. <laughs> so, I know I shouldn't pay attention to that, and I've discussed it in the past. 
But anyway, I, uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them, and, uh, maybe something will pop out. Yeah, anyway, I think, I think that's about it for this week. I really need to sneeze, and I don't want to, so, <laughs> apparently if you, quote-unquote, look up at the lights, it, uh, it helps you with your sneeze. I don't know if it's the act of, of just tilting your head up. I think that's probably more... More likely than looking at light, because I don't think light <laughs> makes like a chemical response take place. I think tilting your head back. If anything, I haven't actually had any success with it as of yet, but who knows, you know, maybe maybe it does work for some people, some physiological thing with your anatomy and your nervous system and your mucus system, and that's not actually an official system of your body, but I'm still making it up anyway, because I am a doctor. Yes. I am a doctor in my own mind. So, anywho, I'm rambling on at this point, so I should probably bring things to a close here. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this vlog, and uh, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.